Dang, it's bright in here, y'all. Hey guys, welcome to our five-day free clean eating group. It is Sunday. It's about 1230 on Sunday. I'm checking in with you guys a little bit late today, but I just wanted to give you some tips on what to do today and what to expect going forward for the next five days from this group. Okay, so number one, it's Sunday. Yesterday I posted the uh, example meal plan, grocery list, and recipe guide. So if you guys haven't checked those out yet, give them a look. Um, I have already gotten some great feedback from some of you on uh, things that I screwed up, so I'll be updating those here in a minute uh, with a revised version that fixes those errors. Shame on me. Um, and I've also gotten some great feedback from you guys on like swaps or questions that you have. So keep that coming. I know there's 40 or so of us in this group. And unless I just happen to magically hit the nail on the head with this meal plan for all of you, I'm betting that once you take a look at it, you will see some things that you have questions on or uh, things that may or may not work for your style of eating or your taste buds, let's say, okay? Um, but give those a look. Um, I'm going to be posting this afternoon a couple of graphics and a couple of videos that I have made over the years that have helped me efficiently prep my meals for the week. Okay, because I know just like all of you, I have like zero time and I don't want to spend a bunch of time in the kitchen on the weekend making my food for next week, right? That's just not fun. I want to be out having fun with my family at the beach doing whatever um, on the weekend. So long story short, meal prepping today after you get back from the grocery store and you've collected all the healthy foods that you need to create this uh, clean eating menu for yourself this week. Prepping really should take you no more than like an hour, okay? So carve out an hour. Um, once you get back in from your fun day activities, buckle down and get that hour out of the way. It will help you immensely to not be stressed and to have success with your food plan and food choices going into next week, okay? So just, I'm gonna post, like I said, I'm gonna post some graphics and a video about this, but just in general, guys, my focus when it comes to prepping is always on get whatever proteins I can, grill them, roast them, bake them, whatever you're going to do to them, get those cooked in a container in your fridge. They always reheat well, and you don't necessarily have to have cooked them right then to make the recipe amazing. Okay, same thing with any sort of grains or carbs. I always bake my sweet potatoes ahead of time. I put them in the fridge. They're fantastic reheated. You can even just microwave them. You don't even have to put them back in the oven. Um, I always cook ahead any sort of rices, quinoas, I always cook ahead my uh, steel cut oatmeal because it takes 30 minutes for that stuff to cook. I don't have 30 minutes during the week. And I always boil my hard boiled eggs at the beginning of the week as well because those are fantastic to grab out of the fridge if you're feeling hungry and you're like tempted to go through the drive through or you're tempted to whatever, right? I always have hard boiled eggs in the fridge just because if I get low blood sugar, I get a headache, I get cranky, and then I make crappy choices. So that has saved me on more than one occasion from uh, derailing my clean eating, okay? So proteins, grill them, stick them in the fridge. Carbs, grill them, bake them, or not grill them, bake them, boil them, whatever, <laughs> stick them in the fridge. Uh, hard boiled eggs, those as well, okay? Last thing is fruits and veggies. Um, the biggest tip with fruits and veggies is to go ahead and like clean them all and trim them all now. You don't have to dice them up into little chunks, but just get like the basics done. Get them washed, get the part you're not going to use cut off, um, and uh, stick them in containers, put them in your fridge. That way when you're ready to prepare like a salad or ready to use them as an ingredient in a recipe, you don't have to start from scratch. Again, these are all time savers so that when you're in your busy work week, you don't get stressed out about food. It's no fun. Okay? That's all the prep stuff, guys. Watch for the posts I'm going to make after this, and um, Good luck with your prepping. I wanna hear from you how it's going. I shared with you a picture of uh, my grocery haul and my fridge. We're all ready to go. Can't wait. And um, we're set up for success, right? It's only noon. So last thing before I cut this off is what can you guys expect next week? Um, so it's a five day group. I'm gonna be checking in with you first thing in the morning with a video like this, just to kind of give you some guidance and direction on what to expect for that day. Um, should be short about three minutes to five minutes max. Um, so you don't have to watch me. You can listen to me if you're driving into work on the, in the car. Um, but just check out that video each day. 
um, I'll have a quick message for you. And then I will be posting throughout the week just my tips on how I've managed to adopt clean eating over the long haul, right? So a range of things. That's just going to be, I'll make that post sometime during the day. Um, and then I will also be sharing with you guys a couple of uh, short workout options. So like if you're already starting to feel good because you're making these healthy choices in your food, you may want to add in like a quick five to 20 minute workout, right? To get your sweat on, get your metabolism revved up and really start to feel your body working together with exercise and nutrition. It's like a kind of builds that centrifugal force, right? When you make good decisions over here, they spill over into good decisions over here and vice versa. Um, so if you want to try those workouts, awesome. If you don't, awesome, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Um, and then I'll be plugging into the group in the evening uh, just to see how things are going. So what I want from you guys is give me some feedback. How's it going? Show me pictures of your food that you're making. Show me the choices that you're making when it comes to your clean eating um, all throughout the week. I'm not requiring you guys to check in, like a check-in, check-in each day, right? Because this is just a free, fun group. But I do want to hear from you. So show me what you're doing. Um, tell me what's going well. Tell me what's going crappy. Um, and let's collaborate and make this a fun community around clean eating, right? This should be a group where we can have a discussion um, to help you figure out how to make these changes lasting in your life beyond these first five days, okay? Um, that's it, guys. So just shout it out. Let me hear you in the group. What's going well? What are you challenged with? I've already gotten some feedback from some of you, which is great. Um, if you have questions, post them here. I will be plugging back in here in a few hours to see what's up, okay? Thanks so much for being here, y'all, and I will chat with you a little bit later. Bye!